Hello, hello, this is Roguelike Rosa, back with um, more Roguelike action for you. Um, this time we're back with Risk of Rain, the new expansion has come out, Survivors of the Void. And uh, we got this new playable character, along with a load of new equipment, all the um, new items, new stages. Uh, so yeah, we've jumped into a game, we're checking it out. Risk of Rain has added a few, few extra kind of characters over the over the last couple of years, but this is the first kind of paid DLC that they've done. Like the biggest update, I guess. Um, maybe let's hang around and get this chest. So this guy, his left click is um, Fuzzy's auto-aiming um, auto-aiming I don't know, missile things. Uh, but he's also got a, like a zoom and sniper on his right click, which has that quick time event, um, which I think increases your damage maybe on your next one. I don't know if that stacks, um, but it's uh, it's a pretty cool mechanic. I'd say I'm not all that good at those quick time <laughs> events, and it's a little bit jarring to um, a little bit jarring to not be spamming your left click straight away and waiting for that time in the game where it's got so much chaos you kind of um it's uh it's kind of hard to switch that kind of bit your brain off and actually calmly try and do a quick time event which i guess is the point um so on top of that we've got our shift which is like this grenade mine thing that propels uh Oh my god. Propels you in a... This guy is like the... Lippiest dude. Uh, propels you and enemies in a direction. Like, I think you probably use those to like knock them off edges. Maybe secure boss areas. That kind of thing. And It's almost like the soldier rocket jump TFT. <laughs> Old school. But um, That's kind of our only real bit of mobility. Um... Maybe we should pick up, pick up a little bit of uh, a little bit of chests and things before going for the boss. One over here, um, and then I'll show off our R when we get a good moment to snipe off these guys. It's very satisfying getting those snipes. I'll have to say. Oh, I bet it works well on the band actually as well, because it should proc on all of these sniper hits. Quick scoping. What we got printing here? I don't know, it's a new one I think. I think like a coffee? Maybe we'll try and find a, a white item so we can just um, pick that up and see what it does. Equipment slot. Oh, that's a new one as well. Molotov six pack. Throw six Molotovs. Ignite en enemies upon shattering. Cool. And I'm just gonna. Although the sprint is nice, I just wanna. Ooh. A little bit rusty on some of these controls. Um, I just wanna check out what this is to be honest. Let's do that. We are on just normal difficulty, so we shouldn't have a too hard a time, even. Oh god, yeah, that, that's what I'm talking about. I just went to start left click shooting them and forgot about my quick time event. I imagine I'll be doing that a lot. So that said that it did extra uh, um, attack speed and movement speed, which is, seems like a nice versatile item. Both of those things are extremely good. It's like a combination of the the goat hoof and the um, the stim thing. Do a bit of gambling. Oh, the trusty ukulele. Happy to have that. I'm going to save my money a little bit because I see it. Yeah. Looking crate over there. Ah, sticky bomb. So if I get this right, maybe I can get up here. Nice. I imagine there'll be a lot of... Oh, that's a blue. Oh, for some reason I thought that would be giving me... Oh, that'll, that'll take me to the lunar area. I remember. I remember. 
The ukulele is going to do an absolutely huge amount of work for us. Extremely useful. Getting that. Oh, keep on accidentally shifting instead of um, sprinting. So we'll summon the boss. I'll try throwing a, a Molotov cocktail at it. <laughs> See how that does. It's always good to have things that um, put ignite on, I guess. Put these feathers on. Oh gosh. So, try and. Oh! Okay, it's like a cluster. Me kind of thing. Need to make sure I've got some cover ready for the jellyfish. There are these guys. If I hit my R now, so we have a charge up period. And um, then a huge amount of damage. I think I hit it in the. Oh my god, that like almost one shot it. But there is a down. Um, where I can't actually do anything. Um, oh my lord. Well, we dealt with it. So yeah, there's a down there's a down charge period. So if I just use it here, for example, so charge up, and then I can do that, which does pierce three things as well. But now I'm I can't do anything. Grab this for a bit of healing, I guess. In the teleporter event. And it should be no problem. We're pretty slow, uh, but we're taking it easy, I guess. And we've got our uh, our ukulele, so we've got plenty of damage to get through. Uh, pretty well, everything we need to here. Shall we go through the Luna? Check out. There are new lunar items, so why not? I'm not sure how many coins I've got for this, but. Okay, three. Okay. We get to see. New lunar star. Like it's the same size area. I've got 50 points, so. Glass. I think that's the only new one. Don't recognize that one. Let's see what we got over here. That's new, but I don't have five items. That's not, that's the Gore's Tome. Bad. Uh, let's pay this up. It might, as often Luna things do, ruin our run, but Lux pulled half your cooldown, but half your attack speed. Oh man. Okay, well, it looks like we're real gonna double down on that sniper lifestyle. <laughs> oh no, I think this is, this is bad. Our cooldowns are the Molotov, though, so let's. Uh, Let's try and get active with that. <laughs> okay, so we got... Maybe, I mean, to be honest, that's going to make our... You know, us more reliant on the kind of sniper version of this class, which is kind of what it's about, even though the left click is it's pretty strong. Um, This is the new map. Looks cool. Like some kind of like ancient ruins. Oh dear. I think maybe it's because my attack speed is lower. Let's just absolutely hammer these guys. Overkill. <laughs> um. Ooh. That was further down than I thought. Oh god, so the, the unfortunately the recharge time is also and the how quickly Oh my god. How quickly that moves seems to be dependent on your attack speed. Which makes sense. It's just uh pretty punishing for us right now. You're not dead. With the uh cauldrons. 
Did I not see something fly down there? Let's make the quick time event easier is the nicer. Ah, uh, we'll get some new seed. cooldown on that equipment at a base seems really really high I interact with you I'm liking the uh, this the music in this map though it's uh, pretty cool but we got as I say some new kind of monsters to deal with oh god the charge up time is so much higher let's try and stack all of these up then nice Hello, big boy. I think that guy had like a, a weak spot on his... Um... Oh, it doesn't hurt me, does it? Oh. it? does not. And it probably don't hit. Look at that. Because uh, it propped our ukulele. So... Like we got some kind of interesting build going on. Not sure it's good, but it could be interesting. Running around guys look like they're enemies, but it's just pathetic. So. Man, it is hard to dodge and sh be shooting these guys. I kind of get the feeling that this guy would be almost easier to play in a in a party because he does lots of damage, um, but is uh, it's kind of difficult to get that damage off. Paralyx, uh, receive an instant heal at low health, consumed on use. The first consumed item, I think, which is actually seems like it could be quite nice. Emerson nearby feels like not ideal for us. Fencing call one Luna. Uh, is that the one that gets rid of your Luna items? Because genuinely think that would be a good idea. I, I'm game for doing that. What do we get out of it? Oh, nice. We get a yellow item. Help, increase your maximum health. All right, pretty plain one, but um, at least we get to play the character again now, <laughs> rather than. Rather than um, doing whatever we were doing, um, I've kind of faffed around. I got loads of money, but um, the boss thing's also just here, so why not? Okay, got a June stone here. Missed the quick time, and we got a machine gun Kelly right there, who is going to absolutely melt me. Thankfully, that vial came in pretty useful. <laughs> Probably just saved my life. Man, the um Oh that We do some big damage. Really big damage. I haven't really got a lot of I but single target damage items other than I guess I've got the, the ring, the frost ring. But we are doing some absolutely monster damage when you uh I guess like one of his he hasn't really got he got it's you can shoot through a line I guess, but not um as well grab the incinerator doing. Um, but hasn't got any kind of all that reliable AOE. Um, apart from obviously I do because I've got the ukulele. But the single target damage on that right click is actually nuts. It's a big boss killer. Might be like a bit of a boss rushing kind of guy. I guess you kind of want to rush bosses generally anyway. But this guy, you kind of. Seems even more rewarding to do so. Especially because the mobility isn't really there. There's no dash, anything like that, or slide. 
But yeah, pretty cool character so far. Be nice too if we can at least face the the end bosses with uh, on our first run. to a familiar place, which is also cool. Yeah. We'll hang around here for a second. Oh, press R on my uh, quick time event instead of uh, clicking for it. Anyone wanna? There is travel time on it as well. A little bit of overkill. Ooh. Oh, there's a lot of these others. Get my cocktail. Get the hell out of me, but it's uh, my own dude. Yeah, the cocktail's strong, man. It feels like quite a re rewarding character, like, if you hit your shots and things, it's a uh, big payoff, but... Uh, yeah, attack speed seems good. And also, kind of gets harder to play the more attack speed you have. Like... Uh... I think that's the... Getting the the beetle guard dude, and I don't really want to do that. It's uh, just annoying as hell. And so I'll just keep the max health pile I've got. Yes. <laughs> Is there a <laughs> cool bit of it spinning around? Here what we got. Probably shaped opal reduce the damage of the first time you hit. Sure. Seems. A really, really nice. I'd like a double jump and the, like the jumping speed would be nice. Let's see if we get the opportunity. Uh, let's check over there. We'll, we'll take that. He just got to uh, keep an eye out for a chest, which I'm kind of bad at, to be honest. We'll run over here. We're, we, we're pretty behind on items from um, being a bit lazy on the first two stages, so we'll pick it up a little bit here and that's my quick time. Oh, the boss is up here anyway. That, oh no, it's utility. I thought that was, uh... I know they've got these void items that I've put in the game, but um... Well, that might have been what well, that was, but it was just a utility. Oh, cool. We'll grab the question mark. Banner. Play these guys out. We have got a scrapper which I could use, but uh, God. I haven't seen any good princes. I think a bit more money. Don't really have any heal. I could have picked up obviously some heal at that last one, but pick this. I think. I'm sure, I don't. Die. I'm doing things. Oh, missed my event. We are getting. We are a quick boy when we're sprinting now. We got machine gun fella. Roasting buddy. Oh. 
Wow, 1,000 damage. Let's get to... Lily's chest. No. Get to the boss area and maybe spend some of the rest of our money. Boss is hiding around there, is it? Yeah. There was a gamble trying just around the corner there as well. I'll trigger the boss and. See ya. Here you go. Wow, he's got a lot of weak spots. Which is fine by me. Let's try Molotovin' in. That was slightly underwhelming on the actual boss. But to be honest, we're short on AoE generally, so it's uh, probably not too bad. Finish it off with a big R. So cool. an interesting mechanic. Ooh. Got hit by that. Yeah, the... Not having any healing. It's slightly problematic. Let that opal regenerate. The left click, um... If it goes to the closest... Oh, the machine gun. Dude! It goes to the closest enemy, so... The walls seem like it's biggest... Adversary at this point. So shots at these guys. Gotta keep an eye out for the machine gun dude when he comes around. There he is. And we should be Gucci. Gucci! Ah, uh, it's good to be back on risk, risk of rain for sure. So. Here we go, number four. Did trigger it, yeah. Nice. Nice run so far. Feels like a really well designed character. Oh my god. Got some. Oh, we've probably taken too long. We've got some pretty scary looking dudes around here. Oh my god. Oh, that's cool. Split into two. Oh, hello. What have we here? Roll of pennies, getting gold, taking damage. Okay. I mean, I, I never played damage come for a gamer, but I can see why other people would find that useful. That was the damage I just took. If I, it looked like I got money... Like a lot of money there because I was burning as well. It, like teddy bear plus burning, farm some money. Okay, so we've got a void I am here, but it looks like they little void little things coming out. Through them. They for species block the next source of damage. Crops all teddy bears. Tougher teddies. That's cool. So it, like corrupt. An item that you have, or like an item, perhaps one of the items, one of the base items, and does something different. So, nice, we block. We've got this like big blocking thing going on. I like it, I like it. There's, of course, oh, there's the legendary chest around here as well on this map. Try to pick it up. And remember where it is, ideally. Or a volatile for these guys. That was a drone in there, I'm thinking. There's the boss dude. Thing. Oh, I spent all my money. Hello, mate. See the turtles again.
Having like the Teddy active of things is uh Oh yeah, we're doing that. Having the Teddy active does add a level of security as well. And I love levels of security. Ask anyone. So then. Oh, that was my teddy going off. Probably... It's in one of these, like... Where is it? If we're here under, like... There's artillery bridges. I think it's, like, in one of, like, the, the crevices around... Around to the right here. Maybe? I mean, I'm getting lots of chests. It's over there, in that crack. Gonna do a little bit of farming, probably kill the snake. Deal bonus damage breaks at low health. Delicate watch, nice. Okay, right. I've walked past it a few times. Literally, I've walked into the same one. Have they just moved? Have they like moved this map around? And I'm not able to work it out. Maybe they have. It all looks the same. Boss here. Pretty hard to hit the sweet spot on that guy, but oh, here it is. How much is that? Two thousand eight hundred. Oh my god! All right, we could start the boss, and then that should give us enough money if we don't leave upwards. With the mountain dude. I'm just gonna start off with this. Can I? I can hit. Oh, I can equipment while that's going on. Alright, oh, not quick enough. Oh, I'm not quick enough. Got some. I was gonna say reliable cover, but then oh, that's my health crystal gone again. Throw out some of these. I think I killed him. Stuff around here to think these eyes going a bit. Get some snipes off. Oh man, these teddies are extremely strong. Nice. And we got plenty of money. Oh, I kind of wussed out with the uh, central area. They'll be locked for now. What was that? Still a boss there. Oh my god. Got a bit too brave there. Being able to use your equipment while you're on the cooldown of... Uh, of your ultimate is uh, extremely powerful. 
Extra loot. All max health. How is the charging going? Yeah, no. Not bad at taking down the artillery, dude, either. Cool character. Really well designed, I'd say. It's um, really fun. Got some of you. Just got Lola Molotov in there. Okay. That's cool. Cool as all hell. Legendary item. To extra charge of ut utility. Which I guess is this. Which I have not been using very much. Head to our last zone. Last non boss zone. So we're pro nice and fast, but we haven't got any like double jumps or anything like that, or speed up jump. So our mobility is good, but still a little bit lacking. I mean, can I just... This guy seems just insane on this map. Oh, not if I do that. Are you going to spawn on me or am I just going to... I'm just going to stay here shooting. Please, please. Alright, there you are. Yeah, definitely the kind of optimal DPS is to Hello boys. Ah! I mean ah <laughs> Yeah, definitely you do a lot more damage if you use your the right click. Mouse button 2. Oh, that was a chest around here. Ooh. He looks all corrupted. Hello there. Oh, first bleed. Not that I've been looking out for printers or anything. Really good at killing kind of like the big ticket bad guys. Bosses and then the bigger bigger dudes. And actually struggles with some of the weaker high mobility ones. Like you can like with the rest of the team as well, I feel like this guy's gonna be really strong. Hello, what's that? God. Assembling me. Like something with Star Fox. Oh my god. I've got times three of them. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, that was a fun first run. Um, killed by a construct. Yeah, definitely got a bit too big for boots there. Um, but I got to see some of the new IMs. These ones, the safer spaces. A cool corrupted item. These empty bottles saved me a couple of times. I definitely see those being fun in playthroughs because, um, you know, it adds that level of security. Like, if you get caught out once, you're not going to end your run. Uh, I got caught out three times, so it's good for <laughs> someone like me, for sure. But yeah, that was a lot of fun. It's good to be back in Risk of Rain 2. So I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you uh, um, get some fun out of this game as well. All right, catch you guys later. Peace.